Man, honestly, watching AJ Simmons on CBN, man, you know, I was okay. watching him for a few months, you know, and uh, you know, I've, I've been watching a lot of other people up here on the on the channel and, and their interviews, and they, you know, I'm kind of like them, you know, you, you don't trust everybody, but you know, I'm like, man, it's a VA boy, you know, what I'm saying, you know, he <laughs> sound like he know what he's talking about, you know, so I tuned in for a few months, man, and I tapped into that CBN network, and oh, yeah. man, it's been, it's been on the road from there. Yeah, I appreciate that, bro. Get it to the top, they ain't none of y'all stopping me. Used to say I never get a ring, Charles Barkley. Now I got a wife, got kids, own property. Bubble eye beans that look like that be watching me. Okay, I lied about the beans, but that was hard, though. I'm still in that black act, but she starred, though. Cause that's all it takes. Don't oh, flash it, folks. I'm on my grind, not no more fashion show. What's up, y'all? It's AJ Simmons, the cleaning business GOAT and the founder of the clean biz network and i'm back with another great episode of the clean biz network podcast for you guys and today i have a special guest y'all today i got a guy who started his cleaning business just over a year ago he's a fellow family man just like i am and he's also from my home state of virginia so i'm definitely glad to have him on so without further ado please welcome the owner of real-time cleaning resolutions mr andrew Faison. what's up andrew What's happening, AJ? What's happening, man? Good to be here and glad to be on the on the platform. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sure. Without further ado, man, if you just don't mind, could you please share with us about where you are as far as revenue go with your cleaning company? Yeah, so I'll give you where we ended up last year in, de in December. Okay. Uh, we ended up about $8,200. $8, okay. That's what's up, bro. Congrats on that. <laughs> Congrats on that. All right. Now, before we go back to how you or get into how you got to that point, let's just go ahead and talk about like, who is Andrew? Uh, where you from? A little bit about your background. All right. So my name is Andrew Faison. Uh, I'm from Virginia, uh, the Richmond area. And basically, man, I, I went to LC Bird. If you know anywhere, you know, about the county of, in uh, Richmond. We uh, farm down in Emporia, so we uh, do a little bit of that as well. Um, I have two kids, as you probably hear in the background, so I apologize about that. Um, but uh, I love to hunt and fish, um, and I went to Virginia State University. I do got family down by, by AJ down in Berkeley, if you know anything about Norfolk. So, uh, hey, I'm here, and uh, we got started with the business, so yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I tell you what, you when I saw Emporia... Uh, on your on your on my notes, I said, man, I'm scared of you because when you you everybody know we scared to ride through an Emporia because you ride through there, you almost guaranteed to get a speed ticket. You go two miles over the speed limit, you are gonna get a speed ticket going yeah. down 58 over there. So yeah, you know about it, man. Everybody knew about 58. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> I might have to deal with it coming soon. I might visit uh, back home shortly. But anyway, so here we go. So out of all of the businesses to start, bro, so why did you decide to start a cleaning company? So, you know, we all looking for extra money. Um, I do have a full-time nine-to-five job. So, um, you know, in the meantime of that, it's, it's a, you, we don't have that much time in the day, you know, uh, we're having a nine-to-five. So I was working with uh, one of my buddies. He had, he actually worked, I think, with Jampo, one of those companies. He was okay. telling me about it, like, hey, man, you know, you might want to tap into that cleaning. You know, I, he's like, I, I don't know if you want to go a franchise, but... You know, you might want to tap in. And then another buddy of mine, he does uh, stripping wax down in North Carolina. And mm -hmm. I did a couple of jobs with him. Shout out to Magic Clean LLC down that way. And um, man, after I, we did it, we did a job one night. And I'm like, man, for real, this, this is what you're doing? You making that much money? And after that, man, I found you online, man. It's like, yeah. it heard me. And I'm like, man, I tapped in with AJ. I'm like, man, this guy might be all right right here. So, <laughs> so that's how we got in there, man. That's what's up. That's what's up. Now, what services does your company offer? So we offer everything. I, I tell people, you know, if you need the services, we, we can do it. So uh, we do stripping wax, window service, janitorial, um, floor care. I mean, anything that goes with janitorial and cleaning, yeah. we going to take care of you. Whether we can do it or we need to outsource it, believe me, I say I'm a yes man. So, right. <laughs> okay. So what made you decide to go that route instead of just picking, you know, one niche and stand in your lane? What made you decide to say, yeah, yes. The answer is yes, we do that. Man, honestly, wa watching AJ Simmons on CBN, man, you know, I was okay. watching for a few months, you know, and, uh, you know, I've, I've been watching a lot of other people up here on the, on the channel and, and their interviews and they, you know, I'm kind of like them, you know, 
you, you don't trust everybody, but you know, I'm like, man, it's a VA boy, you know what I'm saying? You know, he <laughs> sound like he know what he's talking about, you know. So I tuned in for a few months, man, and I tapped into that CBN network and oh, yeah. man, it's been on the road from there. Yeah, I appreciate that, bro. Okay, now how did you come up with your company name, Real Time Cleaning Solution? Hey, everything in real time today. Everybody want it now. And so I look at it, you know, as a service in blue collar work, you know, hey, you got to, you got, you got to be ready to go. You know, there ain't no, ain't no waiting, ain't no waiting around and stuff like that. So it's, uh, that, that's really kind of name counts. Like what, what can I do to, to make people think about it? Okay. Real time. Yeah. You, you call real time. We, we popping up on you real time. So <laughs> I like that. You ready to go. Okay. So. Now you did say that you got the nine to five job and you work every day. So when you say every day, you mean like Monday through Friday or literally every day? No, Monday through Friday. Monday okay, through just making sure. So, but with that said though, how do you manage to run a cleaning company and you built it to the level you built it at? Like, how did you do that? Like, as far as going to walkthroughs and you know all of that type of stuff. So honestly, man, I, I just fit it in where I can. Um, you know, a lot of times I get off work, so I usually work from either 6 30 and i get off at 2 30 when i get off i got my computer or my ipad with me and you know it's, it's go time i got my shirt in the truck you know right. so i'm putting the shirt on and i'm going to going to get it done and, and trying to make some things happen um it is definitely a challenge um but eventually man i, I want to step away from this job and, and go full time so you know i just i see the potential i put it that way yeah okay now what type of work do you do by the way for the job so I uh, I do agri I work in agriculture. I write conservation plans for farmers and improve their operation. Um, and so I, I do love my job, and that's kind of you know hard for me to leave. It is a federal job, so it's a good job. So yeah. But uh, you know, like you said, man, if I was able to leave that job and put the time in, and I'm working there and into the cleaning company, I man, I could definitely probably scale it a lot faster than, than what it is now right okay so with that said then like what is your work schedule looking like like do you do all of the cleaning are you hiring all for the cleaning like how do you how does your typical work day look so it's a little bit of both um some days i'll, I'll go clean i do have a couple people that clean for me and they are 1099 um and you know i got a couple family members might want to pop in every now and then uh, right. get some extra money but uh, a lot of times man I'm, I'm still out in the field feel getting it man um you know i don't mind I, I i i like blue collar work like i said we run a farm so hard work ain't, ain't nothing for me you know it's actually more therapeutic than anything um put those headphones on and get it done but yeah. so yeah right now i'm still in the field starting to hire been watching a lot of youtube videos um with you know you and your men the mentors that's gonna be at the cbn conference and yeah. you know how to hire who to hire maybe w2s maybe 1099 so it just you know it's, it's a playing game right now i'm still learning man okay so now i noticed i went because i went and searched my notes before we did this interview right and i saw that you got the cleaning business automation course so i guess my first part is did you decide to get that from the beginning like as a very beginner yeah so i'm gonna tell you what it was AJ. So okay. I, I, was TV in, and I was on the the monthly plan right so i was right. probably it was like around March I joined and then, you know, my plan lapsed a little bit and I was like, ah, okay, you know, so it, it lapsed and then you got on YouTube, man, you was like, hey, I'm doing away with the, you know, because I think you were selling the course for like $2,000. Exactly. And then they won the monthly plan on it. Right. right. Lifetime. Like, yep. man, I, was like, I was talking to my wife, I'm like, man, you know what? It was it was it was about June or July somewhere down in there. You was yeah. like, "Hey, I'm cutting the course off. It's about to change." I went on ahead and I was I just went on ahead and got it, man. I'm like, I don't know what's gonna happen in the future, but <laughs> right, you got that, like you know what you're talking about. You know, I did like the courses that was already on the the monthly plan, so I'm like, "Hey, sound like he got a lot of stuff coming down with this CRM." And no, I didn't even know what a CRM was, man. You know, I'm right. Like, it's like, hey, I'm going to need to jump on this because it sounds like a good deal. So I went on the man and bought the, bought the $2,000 course for the lifetime. So shout out yeah. to you, AJ. <laughs> Appreciate that. See, now you ain't got no monthly payments. You ain't got to pay for nothing no more. So you good to go. Hey, but I'm going to still tap in, man. Because, you, hey, you can't have something that's that good and not, you know, you got to pay homage to it, man. So it's, it's yeah. I understand that. I appreciate you, man. All right, now, what made you go the 1099 route, by the way, as far as the hire versus going W-2? So y'all scared me with them taxes. They talking about double taxes, man. I'm like, 
all right, let me let me sit on that for a little bit. We'll we'll wait till we get our revenue up. Then maybe we can get grab a couple W twos. Um, right. You know, if I find some good people, but it's it's just a lot easier to go with 1099s, man. You know, a W two employee. I mean, you kind of got to keep track of them. Where 1099 just kind of, hey, I you know, I need this is what needs to be done. Whenever you get there, you know, get there, right. do it, and just let me know when it's done. We all good. Everything's straight. So it's a lot easier <laughs> to get started. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Now, as far as finding customers, how did you find your first customer? And then is that the, the go-to way that you found the rest of them? So, <laughs> how I found my first customer is through CBN. Uh, yeah. Shout out to Mr. Nicole <laughs> Mason. Um, okay. Dropped the post in there like, hey, I'm looking for some subcontractors. At the time, I had just moved back to Virginia. I started my company in North Carolina. So, okay. I had just moved back to Virginia. And I'm like, man, I don't really know anybody up here as far as with a cleaning company other than you and so i'm like well let me tap into cbn i found her and i reached out to her like hey you know i'm looking for some extra work and uh you know she kind of had an opportunity you know i met with her we sat down and had some discussions and uh, she had an opportunity uh for me to subcontract for her so i definitely jumped on that i'm still still have that contract to this day and so shout That's out to her uh, for plugging me in that and then um she actually threw me a uh a referral as well and that was that was a post construction, so that was uh that's really where the majority of that money came from that we made in December. Okay. Um, but she okay. plugged me in, man, and uh, it's it's been all good. So that contractor was happy with the work we did. We did everything for him: windows, strip of wax, the whole nine within that post construction job. And so they've been talking about they got a few more projects coming into Richmond, and they're gonna bring me in on those too. So it's it's been good. That's what's up. Shout out to Nicole Mason, man. She's like a triple OG member. She's been in here since before Clean Biz Network was literally is in existence. That's how long she's been in the group with me. So shout out to her, man. <laughs> how did you know how to price your job? We'll just start there. Hey, shout out to CBN, man. That that calculated <laughs> everything. You know. Yeah. And, and like you said, the calculator is is a tool to use, you know. I'm not gonna say it's gonna be spot to what you need to do, but that's where you have to go in and do your walkthrough for. You know, that's right. what the walkthrough and CBN teach you how to do all that, you know. So if you need to adjust those numbers in the calculator, you can do that. It's all, you know, right. it's all there, plug and play. And so, man, that's I've been using that calculator. And that's really my saving grace because I didn't know I didn't know anything about, you know. I mean, I can go measure stuff all day, but right. uh, start talking about, you know, stripping wax, how much to charge, how many hours. It's like, ooh, yeah. I think I even dropped a post in the, in the chat like, hey, these are my numbers that I got, guys. You know, what what y'all think? You know, so. Right. I appreciate everybody tapping in on, on that post and, uh, you know, just words of encouragement. So, yeah, man. Yeah. Sure. Shout out shout out to the CBN for always being active in the group too because obviously I can't be everywhere at all times but I love the way we, it's a community, it's a real community, everybody help each other out. So shout out to the CBN family and uh, what else I have for you on that? Was something I had, oh, the calculator, man. That's my saving grace too, even to this day. Like, you know what I mean? You think after a while you don't need the calculator no more, you're going to just eyeball it. I could if I had to. But no, I, I need that calculator to this day. So and I and I got that from my my franchise days. So it's like even though I'm not the biggest fan of franchises no more, however, I, I definitely don't uh you know despise where I had to come from because when I saw bam, they use cal okay, that's how they come with the price. That's when I knew, all right, let me come create a calculator and no, you know what I mean? So anyway, but we gotta go through that. So but I'm with you on that. That calculator is definitely the saving grace for sure. All right, now what would you say has been the hardest part for you growing your cleaning business? Oh man, trying to, trying to, trying to act, and I, I don't want to throw too many gems out here, but if y'all get that automation course, that's really where it's at. Um, yeah. Really, man, just trying to build that, build that call list and, and start hiring me some, some subcontractors to, to, to cold call for me. Um, I think that's yeah. really been the hardest, and I really think it's just because of my schedule, it's so hard for me to, and I, and honestly, my county didn't have that database with you know how to access it. Oh, so I had to outsource and go to somebody up in New York and, and get me a car from up that way. So <laughs> right. <laughs> so uh that's really been the hardest thing, man. I've I've tried uh you know Yelp and things and that really is not where it is. So really right now I've been leaning on referrals and, and kind of things okay. of that nature. All right, bro. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into this lightning round. I'm going to say a word or a phrase, and you just tell me the first thing that comes to mind. You ready? Yeah. All right. And before we jump into it, I got to shout out to my baby girl. She made this beat for me just for the lightning round. So here we go. Let me drop that. All right. Don't talk word is Emporia. Emporia, man. 
Ah. Legacy. Okay. Okay. Uh, Virginia. Hey, best state in the nation. <laughs> best state in the nation. Fact. All right. Um, entrepreneurship. Hey, oh my! If you want it, it's there. You gotta have that drive to go get it. Yeah. Uh, the cleaning business. Ah, cleaning business. Man, I'm gonna just say money. <laughs> yeah. Plenty of it for sure. <laughs> uh, social media. Um, cater, good and bad relationship, depending on how you. Yeah, I'm with that. Uh, speaking of the social media platform that you spend the most time on, BBN. Okay, <laughs> facts. Okay, what's your favorite book? So, my favorite book is. Think and grow with it. Nice. That's classic. Guaranteed classic right there. Changed my life. Um, what else we got? Your favorite hobby when you got some free time? Hunting and fishing, man. That's, what, that's my bread and butter right there. But I'm going to have to hang out with you on the countryside, man. I ain't never I ain't never went hunting or fishing ever in my life, bro. So I got to do it. Hey, well, we, I run dogs. So I got hunting dogs, man. So, hey, I'm going to put you on a high stand. You better be ready to shoot at a moving target. <laughs> All right, but I can shoot now. I did a little military time. I can shoot now. <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, what else we got? Uh, key to success. Perseverance. Okay, okay. I like that. That's a fact too. Uh, your favorite YouTube channel other than mine? DJ, DJ the Boss fan. Shout out to DJ the Balls. Okay, I like yeah. that. Uh, who else we got? Fave? No, best decision you ever made in business. Man, honestly. Just betting on myself um, and, and taking that up, getting, getting me to, you know, you know, a lot of people will say they want to do something but never act. Just being able to act on it is what I wanted to do. Yeah, I like that. I like that. And then, favorite type of music to listen to? Man, I'm all over the place, man. I listen to <laughs> rap. It don't matter. It depends on what kind of mood I'm in. Fact, me too. But with that said, I still got to get your top five rappers all time. All right, all right, the top five rappers. We're gonna go with, I gotta do my man Tupac, off top. Okay. Yeah, okay. Tupac is shit. Um, I gotta go with my man Boosie. I like Boosie bad, bad ass, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> uh, excuse my little mama in the background. It's all good. <laughs> um, I gotta go with Gucci Mane. Okay. Already Gucci Mane. Um, I got to go with Nas, man. Nas, Nas put out, he be putting out some fire out there. Yeah. And then my last one will probably be, I got to go with Drake, man. Drake be hitting, he be hitting, he be hitting numbers on, on the tracks, man. He, he okay, I like that. You, you true, true Virginia boy, because we literally be, we mess with everything. I almost cussed right there. <laughs> we mess with everything from the South, South, South. But we also can go 100%, you know what I mean, up North. No, I mean uh, hardcore East Coast style as well. So that's that's definitely Virginia for you. So all right, now I got a couple more questions for you. Then we'll wrap it up. So, what would you say is your long term goal for your uh, cleaning business? So really, man, my long term goal um, is just to provide jobs for people. Um, yeah. You know, grow the business, be able to provide somebody something that they might not have, and, and, and come in and you know ultimately maybe they might want to start their own business. So just provide you know jobs that motivation. And uh, just, you know, hey, keep keep up and up, you know, like that rocket ship. Rocket yeah. man. Yeah, that's good. Let's get it. I love it. All right. Now, if you had to start all over again and you wanted to get back to the point that you are today with your business, what would you do? Man, I'm joining CBN off top. I'm calling, hey, tap it in with CBN and like I said, rocket man, rocket ship. Let's get it. Let's get it. <laughs> all right. Well. Follow up with that one. If you somebody watching this video right now, listen to it on the podcast, and they thinking, I want to start me a cleaning business. It sounds like I could do it. Andrew did it, but at the same time, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm nervous. I might mess up. What would you say to that person? Just make that jump. The later you wait, I wish I would have started earlier. Uh, the later you wait, I'm going to tell you, there's other people that got cleaning companies, and they out here getting that money. So the later you wait, you can look at it as you losing money. You know what I'm saying? So just make the jump. Go get it. You know, and just keep your head down and, and stay humble and, and keep, you know, work. Yeah, that's it. That's it, bro. Let's get it, man. Mr. A Andrew Faison. I said Faison this time. And the first time I said Faison, it's Faison, right? 
Hey, bro, you can say it anyway. You talk to my teammates, they say phase on. You talk okay. to my teammates, they say phase So it don't look okay. good. <laughs> All right. Well, Mr. Andrew Thaven, y'all, how can we follow your journey if we want to reach out to you? Uh, so I'm on YouTube. Um, it's way too live outdoors, but let me pull that up. I ain't know that. Okay. Yeah, way too live outdoors. You won't see no cleaning stuff. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and make me a cleaning YouTube. Yeah. Um, but uh, if you wanna follow me on Instagram, it's way too live underscore ten. Um, like I said, I'm getting that. I'm starting to get more into that uh, space where I will start creating a little content and video, and I got a, a GoPro. So I'm gonna be tapping in with AJ and, and, and seeing, you know, what tips he might be able to give me on on, on, on maximizing that 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 RAM as well. Absolutely, bro. Absolutely. Matter of fact, because you got the automation, if you don't get it already, make sure you email uh bell um, email support and uh, make sure you got the the uh, get paid to be you course in your in your uh your CRM too because okay. that come with that. So make sure you get that as well because that'll help you a lot with the YouTube stuff. Okay. Okay. That's better. Yeah. yeah definitely. All right, bro. I appreciate you coming on, man. Thank you for taking the time with me. Appreciate you, AJ. And hopefully, I see you at the CBN, man. I'm gonna go get my tickets today. We're trying to get everything straight with the kids and all. So, uh, okay, out there, man. We're gonna, me and my wife probably slide out there, but I'm definitely coming regardless. So, let's I'll go. Be there. <laughs> let's get it. I see you at the CBN conference in Vegas, bro. I appreciate you coming on. Hey, appreciate you. Listen, every single year, I host the biggest celebration of the cleaning industry. And that's the Clean Biz Network Conference, y'all. And get ready. Get your tickets ASAP before time runs out. Go to www.cbnconference.com and meet me there. We're going to be in Las Vegas, y'all. Las Vegas at the JW Marriott Hotel. Get your tickets. You do not want to miss this event. Every single year, it gets bigger and better. The dates are February 28th through March 1st, 2024. And this year, and we got a special guest hosting, y'all. This next conference that will be hosted by none other than Tenacity Academy, y'all. Tenacity Clean, y'all seen them on their YouTube channel, Mr. Johnson, Miss Tamika. They gonna kill it, they gonna bring that energy. And not only them, we also got some amazing speakers lined up for y'all. I'm talking about Mr. Eric Coffey from GovCon Giants. If you are interested in government contracts, everybody knows Eric Coffey is the man. He is the GOAT of the government contract, y'all. So you definitely want to be there to hear from him. We got Raylan Dunlop from the Hustle Network. Check out our YouTube channel. Massive, all about just hustling and getting to this money, y'all. Shout out to the Cleaning Balls family. Meet DJ The Balls at the Clean Business Network Conference. We also got Mila, the host keeper, the queen of Airbnb cleaning, y'all. Miss Carolyn Arilano, y'all already know that she killing it as well in the cleaning space. The legendary Debbie Sardone, who has been the number one residential cleaning consultant for I don't know how long now. She's probably the best to ever do it in the residential cleaning space. Mr. Mario Kelly, who specializes in stadiums, y'all. If you ever wanted to know how to get those big contracts cleaning the sports stadiums and all of that, you do not want to miss this. Mario Kelly will be there. And we also have the king of client attraction, Mr. Mark Will Russell will be in the building. You do not want to miss the event. And we have so many other great speakers as well. Too many to name. Not to mention we're going to have breakout sessions. We're going to have special dinner served. It's going to be a black tie affair. We're going to give out awards. I'm telling you, it's going to be so big. Live DJs, you do not want to miss this event. Go to www.cbnconference.com. Get your tickets. Meet me there. Meet my wife. Meet my kids. We all going to be there. Let's get it, y'all.